Dokro ne wahano. So on prekese ne wahano. Again, she thought chocolate. Oh. A lot of people are we we are then she rose and then she lam kind of she learn as she we black soap on my top on ye a bit to say cocoa butter on my top on ye a bit to say share butter and also no on my top on ye now who are no black soap cocoa butter and share butter we are moving on on my top on ye fat and oil and can be able to export these. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kwame Messi. I have the exact same tutorial in English. So if you do not understand PE, I'm going to leave a link in the description section below. Please click on that to suit yourself. Hello, my dear Mr. Mao Akwaba Bium Eba Fufu TV. Also for Kwame Messi, and then you're about to share how to start your own mini exportation business from Ghana. When you say a beer, what product be now person will turn to the international market? What do you need to do? And now say a beer, what to diaspora, a beer to US, UK, what do you call it, wherever you are, no, apart from Ghana, no, now person will um, import it in me and any be uh -huh, from Ghana to wherever you are, no, and then maybe betrayal what you need to do to be able to what do you call it, um, import Yama from Ghana to where you are, and our Ghana as well. How you can export your product and find a buyer internationally so you can sell to them i'm bringing you all the vital information so please do not miss out on this and then the first time i will buy show some love and please help support this channel eh? so we can grow so please click on that subscribe button and on notification bell so you do not miss out when we release useful content Baba share my screen then we get started see you on the other side hmm. hey Hello guys and welcome to this part of it. Until you see the I am share my screen and we're going to get started with our mini importations from Ghana. Ben could be out. This is going to be a really, really quick and exciting one. Okay, I've got tons and tons of information here. Please do not go anywhere. Again, without talking too much, let's get right into it. And so what are we going to cover today in TNN? We'll go through what mini exportation is. So we are then I go through with you the types of exportations are uh, your what our Ghana, then the process and procedures that uh, you have to go through uh -huh, to start your exportation and our mini exportation business. If we are not much sure where to find buyers, most people get stuck here. Uh -huh, until when your product you know, here now back looking for buyers to come and buy your product and yet then cry and make sure more. If we are, then I'll go through with you one or two shipping agents that you can use to export your products from Ghana to where whichever country you want to sell it. Then I'll go through with you one or two costing examples so you have an idea of how much you'll be looking at spending to export your products from Ghana to whichever country you want to. It's going to be really, really exciting, okay? So please do not go anywhere. Now, what is mini exportation? Now, what is exportation? And it's basically, young fan is set banana na um, body a body for fair fair why you know, young fan is a me queenie. I've got a big farm, me tom me body be organa, but me percent me reach out to international market now. I'll have to export some of my body, you know, outside to a money so I can get money more money into my pockets, okay. And today, Ben is set. I'll process my body, you know, as to international standard, okay. Aha, no, my. Go through certifications like FDA and EGSA. Uh -huh. Now I go through. Now mommy approval. Mommy approval. Now I'll go and look for a buyer. And to me look for buyer now. Now buyer actually me how they want me to package and send my body. You know, meeting the international standards. You know, to them. And to when I do that now, then again, I've got two options to ship my products from Ghana to them. It's either say I'll use sea freight and I'm a kind of sea cargo. Uh -huh. Some of them in Yemen or Ebefa Eposo. Yemen I'm different Eposo. There were two types. There were FCL. FCL, your full container load. So full container load, you purchase it either 20 feet and 40 feet. You know, unquan Yemen and a Yedi Gum. And now your LCL, um, less container load. I don't know. You don't Yemen or Efra other people's Yemen. Not my exporting amount. Normally, no. Who you see this type of um sea freight now? Nibo Air Force as compared to. You may be discussing air freight. Air freight, and they say we do in Yemen, air for plane. 
a maximum three to five days on on yaman will get to the destination country but with air freight on the ball air in pint basically um your car exportation and uh, mini exportation are uh, you having a product aha uh-huh. now we we'll turn product you not know, to an international buyer this is basically exportation um it's not as simple sir if you are getting started now you need to do one or two documentations and i'll quickly go through with what you might need okay to get started with your mini exportation or now with your exportation business okay in tibagana um what are the types of exportations we have we have the traditional and non-traditional because the traditional exportations are these are product a sumboma gana before uh, will be to me i exported this sort of product you know outside of ghana no you have to go through some government bodies to get the approval and so that will be to me i exported this product to amononi what are the um, examples of this product a bit to say cocoa aha uh-huh. cocoa beans be saying unto me and for will pay and export it you have to go through i think say cocoa board and abibisa aha uh-huh. to be able to export these products from ghana to amononi the sort of country on what title your cocoa pani and netherlands and in that how am i getting this information um i'm using the what do you call it oko um g area website uh, export procedures i'll leave this link in the description section below okay and now hano traditional exports and non traditional exports and the government bodies are you need to get permits from behind the kakokona koko board now and again yeah i'll leave this document at the description section below yeah really really good you have a lot of information here to help you out okay and see again koko a part of the traditional um product uh, Ghana when we export another one is your gold uh uh-huh. see Switzerland for Mutaito your gold pan uh, again this is part of the traditional um product uh, you need a lot of um what do you call it um you need permits okay to export the other one here diamond China for Mutaito your diamond pa uh, other products of traditional no uh, your manganese manganese so is part of the traditional product another one uh, a uh, yeah, bauxite when to me export it bauxite just by itself you need um permits okay other one here timber when to me to try and be honest i will export it just like that you need permits okay other one your crude oil because of crude oil this sort of oil nom dear petrol non can kahono again akran kreno when to me just exported this product you need special permits okay um other one here electricity yes ghana we export electricity to like burkina faso togo ni benin and again you cannot just go say you're exporting electricity you need to get permits to be able to do this okay i don't want to cry a fish yes fresh fish ghana no we export fresh fish and again to export this in bulk you, know, you need a special permit from the government to be able to export this and i think this is the last one a fresh um yam oh sorry i made a mistake here guys yeah a fresh yam yep a yeah fresh yams okay up so we export it um yams contain a ma yeah you need a permit okay to be able to do this because in yama we know a sumbo maya and Every year, Biano, they change this sort of um, product. Okay, into your case, traditional product. Uh, this is basically the sort of product uh, you need special permits. Okay, uh-huh, to be able to export this sort of products from Ghana to wherever you want to take it. Into your traditional product um, expo- exportations. So you know, we have the non-traditional exportations. What is the non-traditional exportations? This is basically any other product that is not on the traditional exportation products list. You know, into any other product to Biano is considered as non traditional exportations, okay? And normally, no more, we hear mini exportations, you know, they try to target this sort of product. And to be to say artifacts, aha, and to your art, a Biagana art, ne art, na a din, vin, ya, ya, no, aha, brebrina, no, you'll be able to export with less hassle. A bit to say, yeah, fashion, yeah, beads, so, yeah, tuma, yeah, kente, 
ye ahwenye ye asumade ye duku de de ye actual fabrics ni we ye no aha this is also considered as a non um traditional way you can export to what do you call it to amononi a bit to say ye farm produce okay ye abe ye kube ye koko ye nuts ye kruma be body pineapple okay this sort of way you know what do you call it on you know, farm produce you know you be able to export to other countries a bit to say um a lot seminar well black soap on top of ye a bit to say cocoa butter on top of ye a bit to say share butter and also no on top of ye and now who are no black soap cocoa butter and share butter where we need to know on top of ye fat and oil and you can be able to export these a bit to say in me and it's on food to say kobe palm oil chocolate precursor gary and a number ya who know when you know you'll be able to export to foreign buyers and trust me a lot of people are buying even kink initiative crown crown you'll be able to export these and you have people that are buying our products or more amon on it well and these are the sort of items that we consider them as the non-traditional what do you call it exportations from ghana and most people that are into mini exportations you know they focus on this sort of product uh, i want to give you a bit of data here okay so you guys have an idea winning and is just like a learning and an education process okay into ghana's top five exported products in 2021 how did i get this data again um i'm going to leave a link into bahana I don't know what I know. This is my source, okay? Maybe I may be, and I want to make sure I've got a source to back what I'm saying here. It's me, boy, almost so much boy. Okay, and the link in any um, worlds to export dot com. Okay, Ghana's top ten exports. Again, I'll leave this link in the description section below. Okay, so just click on it to do the research yourself, in case you want to know where I'm getting all this information from. And in 2021. Ghana's top five exported products on you know, these and an um, a year top cocoa um sorry top span was crude oil okay it's crude oil you no know, we exported like 29.8 in 2021 which was last year second one year gold 28.1 percent cocoa beans 14.3 percent cocoa paste 3.8 percent fats and oil 2.7 it has a fats on oil now cocoa butter share butter no you can kick out on aha and nuts and um coconut to say yeah um peanuts you know aha and a coconut you know yeah export 1.7 percent fish yeah export 1.1 percent and other other new bear a beer beat sneak in ten on kick out on aha so much a 14.1 percent until last year no um yama yeah sporty free ghana no uh -huh. these are the top five okay these are the top five again what sort of countries it's the countries buying on what i ghana and yama again these are the major trade partners importing ghana's exports in 2021 okay into the highest was china yes china for a toy and yama and it's, it's crazy so if you are thinking of a country to um, look for bias now you can actually target china Okay, because almost to your yamano to produce almost to your raw materials now. Normally, are producing almost products, okay, so they can also sell to the world. So, it's China at to your yama pan ye are 6.5%. Second one year, Switzerland 14.5%. India, India, so to your yama pan, especially timber. Uh huh, South Africa, so 11.7%. Netherlands, UAE, Eka UAE, United Arab Emirates, like Dubai, near Abu Dhabi, no, okay, USA 5.1%, UK 2.5%, Italy 1.8%, Burkina Faso 1.7%, and other, other than any other countries that they are not listed here. And see, again, if you are looking for a country, sort of country to target or look for buyers from, uh, that's the data right here, okay? That's the data right here. Internet media, this data amount. Again, you know, this information you find on the exact same website, Nami Tremlo, which is this one they've broken everything down okay i'm just waiting for 2022 is what you call it um data and when i get it i'll share with you respectively now the process and procedures in tm finance that me percent me exporting in yema from ghana to what you call it i'm on the near um me you know this is my checklist and this is what i'll have to make sure so i've checked all these boxes okay to get started and um, the first one is say uh, i'll make sure say uh, i do my research 
So I come into a conclusion as to the sort of product I want to export from Ghana. Okay, we are now packaging it nicely. Um, we package it. I want something to be bad to us. be different. Okay, try and be different. We share, share. Look at how international the international market, you know, um, of the product I also export, you know. Look at how they've they, they've packaged and how they've branded their product and go with the exact same thing and now say tweak it a little bit okay so you look different so um, your package and your product will look attractive to international buyers do not just copy and paste gonna for your copy dodo uh-huh men copied you be here try to be different try to look on the international market look for inspirations and be different second part and say you need to register your business with gra do not just take shortcuts you need to register your business okay so you do not get into any trouble and international what do you call it um bias and they will trust you if you have a um, business um if your business is registered they will trust you more now get your certifications and safety checks um certifications you know depending on the sort of product uh, officer uh -huh, there are some certifications we are you need to do uh -huh. And to know all your certifications are, uh, then you come to your safety checks. I'll come back to the certifications. Safety checks in the BTC FDA. And also get a FDA to look at the product and to make it sure say it's safe for people. But the one most important thing is uh, another um, will be a friendly GSA. Let me share my other screen. I'm in trouble. Um, GSA. Okay, so this is FDA by the way. You need to go on their website to put to make sure say so when you're FDA approval because international market you no know, do look at this. Uh huh. And a GSA, Ghana Standards Authority. On my website in here, you need to make sure say they analyze your products. Most buyers outside you no know, will need to see say your product you no know, meets all the requirements. Uh huh. And to make sure so you get an approval from GSA. Okay, on my website now. When you go to the technical division or work on product certifications, they will need to analyze your product and give you a certification to mark your product as safe. Uh -huh. So international buyers will trust your product and also trust your brand. Everyone here paying you do not skip this step, okay? And the FDA and GSA should be your saver. Uh -huh. To mark all the safety checks. Because trust me, Opercell exporting your mind in bulk and are looking for top people to um be buying your products now do be asking for these okay and even customs will even be asking for these before they even export your products from ghana and who here pay is really really important okay a high tea and about certification is so now depending on the sort of product you want to export you know and so let me share away again we'll call gra website now export procedures you know Oh, into a more basic requirements for exports. Uh -huh. It be say uh, be registered with the Registrar um, General's Department and the Wahano. So again, I'm going to leave this link down below. Konako share the sort of um, certifications that you will need. Okay, I'm not going to go through into details too much. And now our relevant certificates and permits. So let me kind of koko no e koko board export permits. You need this. Yeah, and a procedure for non-traditional exports procedure for traditional exports uh -huh. and you need to go through all these you need to go through all these okay uh -huh. and if you want to know the sort of certifications you need now again i'll leave this link in the description section below go and have a look yeah but again on said i it depends on how the volume are you want to export uh -huh. cause some um we know um some sort of product you know yeah you will not have to get all these okay if you say be up a sort of your man crowd online now you don't have to get all these but if you are looking at a larger scale now you have to make sure say take all these boxes again gra website and they've given all the information i'll leave this link in the description section below for you guys okay so certification and safety checks you know and you apply especially fda and egsa do not skip this part okay do not skip this part and to when you have all this approval you no. Know, uh huh. After branding and website, again branding and website. Make sure so what brand new products in ye and you need a website. You cannot run away from this. So when I'm an international buyer and I want to buy from you now, what choice set 
your business is legit most people will ask for your website uh -huh, and you cannot skip this part make sure they have a website again if you want someone to design a website for you i'm here in terms of your advertising amount but it's really important you need a website okay we we'll create two websites so then you need like social media presence facebook instagram pinterest it's really important so people can actually go and look at your services look at your products and they'll contact you and do business with you we are now then look for buyers i'll show you how to look for buyers we are so now depending on the sort of country are you want to export your product to know other other side of the country need to need need your safety checks able to say europe europe for hydrogen pan you yeah us for and hydrogen sir but we do not call europe for hydrogen they've got something like the eu's um safety assessments uh -huh. and you have to look for an international we are a bit my your eu safety assessments for you again this will be based on the sort of products you want to export if you are doing your own products there yeah, then it's really good to have this so you don't have any headache when you want to export to the europe okay uh -huh. yeah, really important in two of you when you know then you look for agent to export your product via sea or air these are my checklists and please do not skip any part of this if you are serious about exporting your products from Ghana. Uh -huh. Now, this is what most of you are waiting for. Where do you find buyers? Why are all your checklists and where do you find buyers? It's really easy. Okay. You can go to Etsy.com. Okay. Most Ghanaians are selling their products on Etsy.com. Uh, easy. Etsy.com, no one or set an online presence. You can actually have the products in Ghana. Will be tired. Then you use DHL, okay, to post your products from Ghana to them. And it's saying, Granny, you don't need a lot of certifications to get started. It's really easy. You can contact African um, owners, uh, African shop owners that uh, are living in the diaspora. I'll show you how to do that. And now uh, they are B2B, business to business online platform. You can list your um, product there or you can look for supplies there, okay, to buy your products. Without talking too much, let's look at how to, um, let's look at Etsy, okay, and I'll share my other screen. Actually, let me go to, um, okay, and I'll go to um, Etsy.com. Okay, so this is Etsy, guys, into my mature movie, be into corner, I'll go to search for anything, okay, let me just type in Ghana. Uh, to type in Ghana, okay. So these uh, are Ghanaians, uh, they are selling their products on Etsy. So, you um, be to say art, say we say uh, Ghana art or tongue, well, beads or tongue, Ghana for kin to win on chocolate. So, um, Obahana and Nawahano, we are then share butter, oh, um, sell away or tongue or Etsy. We are in here or tongue again, Ghana art. So, um, the list goes on and on and on. We are then. Um, the classic Afri socks collection. We are say um Kente the other day um Ahumaya no. Oh, we another art. Watch for Ikuya or Tong Etsy. We are spices. So when you have two hundred and seventy um two seven two views um reviews. Oh, or Tong spices. Again beads. Said you know no. So so a lot of Ghanaians are selling their products. We are then Ghana black soap. Alata semina. And I hear Tong Wahano. Well, the list goes on and on. You got second page out. Again, where you're Ghana, um, will be designing, one of your fashion designer, no, we design a sweater. So, I know the Ghana shim or Tong Etsy. Look at this, made in Ghana beads. Well, um, a lot of seminar. Well, where you're Shito. So, again, I'm in here. Again, Shito. Oh, kente na wahano beats na wahano. So the list goes on and on, and people, a lot of Ghanaians are selling again share butter. Aha! Uh -huh. So you can actually create an account on Etsy. We register an account and yeah, and hassle, okay? Aha! And all these two products now is like twenty cents per every product I've listed. And of course, when you get a sale now, they take their percentage. And now, if I'm you and I'm in Ghana now, you can contact one of these people. You find it said made in Ghana, we know. Beats now. I'm not sure when you have 54,000 um, reviews, so I'll just click here. In TM Fan, they say more Ghana and percent me exported products now. I'll contact this, um, what do you call it, this seller. 
either so we'll start here fresh you know if it's me now i'll try and make partners okay be in partnership with them because they've already established their store oh uh -huh. they've got over three hundred thousand sales in a one you're from with the beats chest into you click almost now this is their store and they've got a lot of product here yeah so if you don't want to register and do everything we're now we'll call the bees chess now what top on us so you can contact them and just send them a message that hey my name is kwame from ghana i see that you sell beats i've got a lot of beats nice beats at cheaper price and i want to do business with you and now say if you don't want to do business with them now you can actually create your own account on etsy Aha, uh -huh. you can actually create your, your own account on Etsy and also start selling your products. You could be say Ghana food. But some of the sort of things that people are selling on Etsy. Again, she thought chocolate. Oh. A lot of people are we we then she rose and then she long kind of she learn now she re. Aha. Don kwa. Jin Sing. Oh. We are then amani. Oh, I'm a new Willy. Willy cry day here. Oh, meat pies, jollof. So, Willy. So, people are selling their products, and this is an international market. Okay, Etsy is based in the USA. Aha. Uh -huh. So you can create an account on Etsy. Will be your order. Then what you basically do is so you package the order nicely. Packaging is really important. You package it nicely. You ship via DHL. Within um five days, you know, your customer in Sabe can in Yama easy win-win situation until get again i see it's a place that you can look for online buyers or you can actually list create a store on there and sell your products if you want me to do a detailed tutorial on sd i'm happy to do that okay about std i'm a, I'm a pro i'm a pro <laughs> aha and see you can look for buyers on etsy um other way to um look for buyers and they say you can target africans um we're living in the diaspora that got shops okay uh -huh. and normally i use this term african shops in now the city you know Asheho. and our caribbean sh um stores the kind of caribbean via jamaica for any haiti for no i had those sort of people on some tun tun or me tun tun and they eat our food okay you know when we are necessary uh -huh. so you can search you can just go on google and go african shops or the city national and our caribbean stores this international then you contact the shop owners and try and be partners with them okay try and sell your products to them if your branding and your packaging and your prices are affordable now trust me they will pay you to send your products from your Ghana to them let's go and look at an example okay and see again I'll share my other screen in TM and say your Kohana then I'll just go to Google African um, shop in New York. This is what I love about Google, my own. In the or the stores, you know, aha, ebe mami. I don't go through the down here. I use the map section. In the way, no, I'll um, what, what do you call? I'll click on the first one. What's weird then Kita west african market and to click your first one um uh, well, all these ones here you know, are african shops in new york well it's really easy and the first one i'm clicking was on obahana this is their contact number contact number well you put it create an excel and alpha penny paper church all these numbers okay Uba down hana they've got photos of the sort of products they sell you can actually click on the photo now share the sort of products they sell. Now he said, "Ube to me, um, as a Nibia mama, he been a wahan. This is so I'm not on palm oil. So we in the end, people sent it to them, and I'm not free. What do you call it? Um, people, um, in Africa. I see Kita West African market food, cosmetics, and phone cards. So Ube to my friend, Nyamo Amutuntong. Then if you can supply some now, you contact them." I'm contacting them now. Now, all these red dots, you know, they are all African shops in New York. Okay, so all you have to do is go on Google African shops in, put the city inside, and trust me, you'll find some. The list goes on and on and on and on here. I'm not going to go through all that, but you can take your time and click on them. 
Your Bekleku or Subiano. Trust me, um, you find someone, okay? You get their number. Well, in the tribe before for Abia African shop in Sydney. So, in Sydney, again, I don't know about her, so I'll just click on anyone where they uh, wear banks down. Wow. Uh -huh. African vibe, South African um, shop, where South African. -y. So, um, let's click on the third one here. And see, again, what do you call it? All these, we're not they are all African shops in Sydney. Okay, so if you want to export your product to BOO Australia, okay, uh -huh. and again, no product. And I'll show the store now. Well, you click on it, I'm sure the sort of Nyema or what one store. Okay, uh huh. Now, here's a bit to me a supply BB Amana. A year really, really easy. I'll just go back and if you want your contact details and the Wahano. Okay, so that's your contact details. So you can just go through a year really, really easy. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll be there to help you. So you just use this African shops in and our Car um, Caribbean stores in now the city. No, Asheho. It's really easy, okay? Put some numbers down and try on WhatsApp or call. Try and make contacts, man. It's all networking. This is how you find buyers. And this is my favorite, okay? Uh -huh. These are online platforms so you can actually look for buyers. Okay, to your funny BBT say um EC Plaza, you say a uh, powerful B2B, what do you call it? Platform. Oh, NT, I'll just come here, I'll go on Google and I'll show you how to actually search into your court ec i cannot type today ec plaza i know what i know ec plaza this is a b2b website it's really powerful man a lot of people are finding bias here into what you can do is say you can actually create an account and list your product here or you can just go through and search for potential buyers and just send them a message and i'll send them an email okay into your back top one i'll leave it on products you can leave it on um, companies buying requests selling leads but if i'm searching i'll just leave it on products no my cut top one no my short maybe to say a b a ghana okay we can enter Okay, so this will show you the sort of companies uh, they are selling Ghana things. And uh, Ghana for Nagasakrana, um, what do you call it? They've listed their businesses here. So you can find a lot of international potential buyers here. We are, we are doing fish feed production analysis in Ghana. So one set MOQ. We are doing 100% pure share butter refined. We are no more Malaysia. Uh -huh. 70% me export share butter. I can actually click on this company. And try and work with them because they are selling share butter. So on um, what thousand MOQ, you can say MOQ a minimum order quantity. Uh -huh. So I can actually get the details of this supplier down and talk to them. So on your butt down, Hana, you find a lot of the way. With the infant is say yam cry. Okay, yam. Mm -hmm. And you can look through a month for air twin ton twin ton by any. So, okay, Ghana Puna Yam, we see all South Africa. So, Ghana Puna, on to your Puna, no, even will be export to Ahano. You can contact this seller, so on contact now, uh -huh, and try and talk to them. Say you, you want to also export some of the yams to them, well, African yam tubers. Uh -huh. So, with this, you know, you can actually list your product, and trust me, a lot of Ghanaians are also here. Um, they have they've listed their products into me selected companies I can go search well there the companies are I went back to your hano and I'm selected companies with the Yama tour oh and yeah gonna new one gonna company been our hand we're Nigeria we're China another Nigeria India China Nigeria so let me just type Ghana here Oh, we are camping all Ghana, golden latest products. You see, we're saying they are exporting their product and they've listed um, their company here 
Uh huh. Into a listed a sort of product type they export. Ghana, 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 Ghana. So these are all people are yeah. Gold Shop Ghana Limited. Uh huh. They are into exports. Okay. So you can actually list your what do you call it your business on this platform, or you can also look for suppliers here. All you have to do is to go to register. Okay. They've got for buyers for sellers. Go to register and just register. I love. EC Plaza, okay. In Tiba Bakana, Indian mats, Indian mats, new or more, more percent. Um, you look, you either buy things from India and I look for um supplies, okay, from India. They've got a lot of um, companies in India, no, over there. I'm not going to go through all this. Uh, meeting we now mammals, all these websites, you know, they are B2B websites, okay. Uh -huh, B2B, Amazon A, B2C, but some are also B2B because people are doing the Amazon FDA. I'm going to find your money from China. Normally, I call Amazon Warehouse, okay? So, you can look for people that are selling African stuff. They will, um, you can ship your products to their Amazon Warehouse and they use it as Amazon F, um, F, FDA program. Alibaba, so you can find Made in China. I love it. I'll do a different tutorial on Made in China. Global Sources, E-World Trade, India Mart. These are all B2B. Uh, you can find um, you can find bias there. Okay, and to next one here, India, India Mart. Oh, to India Mart. Uh -huh, this is it. Powerful website. Okay, if you want to buy things from India and ship to Ghana, now my company can help you. Again, you can find Ghana. A bit show the sort of things that they export from Ghana. Wong, your team by the Wahano. Wong, into round Ghana teak wood. India photo pan ye, you can see. Me show Ghana no. Aha, into a lot of Ghanaians are exporting our woods to India. Say the own Wahano. Okay, I'm not going to take my time and um, go through into details. I don't want to waste a lot of time. But you get the gist of it, okay? Aha, into um. Just go through the list, okay, one by one, and trust me, you find bias and yet in crap. Let's move on. Now, what are the shipping types and agents, okay? Um, when you're your buyer, no, uh huh. We'll, we'll go through all the docu uh, documentations and um, when your products, while your packaging, when you're buyer, no, how do you ship, okay? How do you ship? So, that we can, you two types, you also will use C freight. And our air freight, we can see cargo and air cargo. Okay, we've seen one uh, is very affordable. A high and a bono and shadow and yet in into your be our person or shipping yama from Ghana to your customers and our buyers outside now. The most affordable one uh, ASC freight, but we've seen freight you know, is good for more person sending your money in bulk uh -huh, to their customers. A really important into um. You can go to just Avia Tamahaba Crow and go and look for an agent and they'll be able to help you out. Catch and save your person, you send Avia um, 100 kgs of um, of share butter, okay, to your um, customer in what do you call it, in, in US and in UK, Canada, Australia, away, Europe. And you, there are a lot of agents out there that will be able to help you. And so we've seen phrases of them kind, you see that say you are doing a full container load. And your friend FCL and our less container load LCL with full container load. No, maybe I won't quite offer the whole container now. We'll export it and on the process, and a bit different. And about LCL or not, we do Nyama air from my phone. Yama now we're we'll exporting the sudden, and it's a process is slightly different, but again, it's really really cheap. Uh, and so we have sea freight, okay. And your what air freight, air freight, and it's that we're doing Yama air for air maximum three to five days. You know, your Nyama should get. To your destination country, uh -huh. but one thing about this is that it's really, really expensive. Okay, as compared to say we do Yemen FRC. And again, these are the main two channels that you'll be able to ship your products from Ghana to your buyers outside of Ghana. Okay, so agents. So what sort of agents can you use? Okay, uh -huh, to export your goods from what do you call it, from Ghana to your destination country. I like Sw um, Swiftly Global, man. They are awesome. Or my Juma we at Japan ye. They are awesome, okay? So you can contact um, Swiftly Global. Just WhatsApp this number. Like I can say, ABI hey, have um, 10 kgs of um, ABI uh, Mukusam. 
uh -huh, and you want to export to ABI, US, UK, Canada, where you know, they'll give you a quote as to how much it's going to cost, okay? And normally, you know, they will help you with other documentations. Uh huh. Into who you be, are you a beginner? You can actually contact them, and they'll be able to help you out. Swiftly Global. Normally, you know, who contact your man? They'll give you a quote, and if you are serious now, they'll send you a form like this. Hopefully, I have the form here. Um, yeah, like a document. Just swiftly go. So, I'm send you will be like this. Okay, just fill out like send your full name, your contact number, yeah, your address, your email, item being shipped uh -huh. the weights you know boxes uh -huh. and you just fill this and submit to them uh -huh. and they'll give you a code they are really really good yeah it's really global ghana post too i've shipped my items from ghana post man ghana post is awesome too you can go to any ghana post outlet on the way with products you know um packaging the yeah they'll actually repackage it for you uh -huh. no matter how much it's going to cost you can use dhl too okay I'll come to Fufu Imports. Uh -huh. Again, I'm advertising my, my services here. Uh, I can use DHL. One thing I've noticed about DHL is that if you want to make sure say, you get a good rate, uh, make sure say, you've registered your business. And to say, individual person or send it in Yemen, ABI to the USA, not on register of business, uh, you pay more. But so I register of business, you know, they're legit now. You pay sometimes, um, even, even like 20% um, of the actual price. Uh -huh. So that's one thing good about DHL. If you are registered now, they will take good care of you. And again, they will also help with the documentations. Okay. And we've got for Fufu Import too. Uh -huh. We'll also help you out. Okay. We've, we've affiliated ourselves with a lot of these international brands. You know, uh -huh. That will be able to sell and um, send your um, goods you know, via air. Uh -huh. Via air to most countries. Okay. And also via sea to most countries. Uh -huh. So you can also use my services. But again, these are my top, okay? If, say, we name any other exportation company, I don't know, uh, you can link, um, share their details below. Sharing is caring, okay? So we all help each other. And now, say, you can actually walk to Tamahabo. Like I just said, open agent uh -huh, to help you ship your product. And trust me, there are lots and lots out there. But again, these are my top, okay? So Swiftly Global, Ghana Post, DHO, for full import, okay? They will help you out and this is the contact details just contact them now cost and examples i know most people are waiting for this and to, let's two scenarios okay you can finally say yeah um, we want to export from ghana to abi us uk canada and our europe so yeah ship it via air freight and our air cargo now uh -huh. you can say if you have a shop on etsy will be a top product and even now percent will ship it caught the back run out um, if it's like one kg like from door to door delivery you know uh, um, we deliver command, um, the customer's door address you know yeah you'll be looking around 24 to 36 dollars custom clearance inclusive this is the range okay every company bi is different but it's going to range between this price and i am finally say api hey, when your african should be up so it'll be already 50 kg of this yam you know for air uh what do you call it air a brand okay yeah it's going to cost around 700 um either a little bit less and a little bit more uh -huh. this video normally recorded in september 2022 uh -huh. and today's price you know depending on the dollar to ghana cities rate you know uh -huh, it might decrease and i might increase okay but as of 2022 october no You'll be looking around this price we are lucky i can get it more cheaper but if it's too cheap be careful man again you find is that if you want to ship again by the way uh i would via sea freight okay um but 20 20 feet container okay and this is what you'll be looking at and you find is that, so if you want to ship something like this like a 20 feet container full of yams okay from tema to new yorker uh, this is the sort of pricing you'll be looking at in the um c freight you know four thousand four hundred sixty eight admin fee 120 marine for thousand and thirty local port charges which is around tema and um, four hundred service charge company normal service are 
on bed charge of 200 and to be looking around 600 6218 okay it's going to be around this um range again it's going to be a bit less and uh, just a little bit more depending on their open set or export to nyamano uh -huh. and if you are doing like a fco full 20 feet container full of yamsa from temach new york now you'll be looking around this price uh -huh, this price but bear in mind say this is just from tema to new york and uh, to usa a drew new york and uh, you have to take care of your own custom clearance uh -huh. into function is into custom clearance you know, it's exclusive it's not part of this price this is just exporting from one destination to the other we use a company which is says swiftly global now uh -huh. and if you want help say or more um you need help with paying um with the clearance of your goods when they get to your destination country now they've got links and they'll be able to help you out okay but normally when it comes to um sea freight now we uh we a uh, customer now will say yeah uh -huh, it's your duty of your buyer no uh -huh, to 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 do the clearance themselves since they they live in that country country piano rule okay uh -huh. and see, again if you want to ship 20 feet container of your products to Amononia, yeah you'll be looking around this range again this can be a little bit less or a little bit more depending on the sort of company you use and i'm going to give you this price to just give you an idea of how much you'll be looking at spending okay um exporting your product from ghana to the destination country you want to send your products to thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed this okay into one person your expectation and yet then just that my take is and starting you, know, you have to make sure so you go through all the um, your certifications and safety checks okay once you get everything in place now trust me the process is smooth and you looking for bias you know, is going to be really easy because you've done your due diligence and have gone through the right channel a lot of people are doing shortcuts man but um and um, one day when you find yourself in huge trouble i know people that have shipped containers of goods you know and get it to us you know you're sorry returning the container back and on my easy container no do not take shortcuts man make sure you go through the right channel and also get a legit agent that will give you a good advice most agents will help you with the whole process okay make sure you get a legit agent if you want the english version it's going to be down in the description section below you so please click on that to suit yourself if you love this content please show some love and click on the subscribe button okay so we can all benefit my name is kwame chumisi i'll see you in my next tutorial bye <laughs>